The Raleigh Connected initiative is to make sure that the city of Raleigh is wired in all areas. Forbes has um, designated Raleigh as the most wired city in the country. My goal was to make Raleigh the most wired city in the country in all neighborhoods. This came about with also other city partners, and that would be Community Services Department, our Parks and Recreation Department, and also Community Development Department. We as a city cannot do it all. We don't provide internet access, but Cisco does, AT&T does. So other partners in the community provides and fills the gaps of the services that we can offer. We fill the gap in by relying on our private sector partners to come in and assist with these kind of initiatives. The private sector really wanted a part. It was not a hard sell. Well, I think AT&T and, and the city and One Economy found that it was a, a partnership that we thought we could extend internet or broadband access into underserved and, and unserved areas, especially as, as it applies to some of the low-income families in the greater Raleigh area. There's a direct correlation between success in our communities and success of at and I don't think there's any question from our standpoint that broadband access creates economic opportunities, it creates educational opportunities. I mean, it really opens up the world to anyone who has access to that type of, of utility. Programs and partnerships like Raleigh Connected are an essential part of making that happen. Well, Digital Connectors is a program that uses technology to teach kids in a 21st century learning environment skills that are relevant, skills that are helpful, in a, in a really fun way to help them learn the skills they need to move forward in their career and hopefully to higher education and technology and in, uh, to a career in technology. We know that there is still, even in this kind of climate, high demand for people with skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And that's exactly what a Digital Connectors program provides, is a great foundation in those areas. So the opportunities for these kids are, are really unlimited. You know, looking at something like Digital Connectors, that's going to be a, a, a great way for us to pull in the private sector because they have a vested interest in what goes on in our classrooms. We are preparing them for what they're going to get later. Well, I found out about this program um, when me and my mom were looking on the computer one day. When we went online, you know, looking for some volunteer work, and we saw that the Digital Connectors was on there, and that, you know, she would receive a computer um, after finishing the program, you know, she was excited right away because being that we didn't have a computer at home, you know, she goes, most times on her lunch hour, she goes and spends it in the, in the library. When I'm in school right now, um, whenever we work on computers, there's a lot of stuff that we have to do that I have no, no idea about. I have to always um, ask people and I've always felt embarrassed because, you know, I never got to learn these things, but it's, since I'm with this program, I'm learning a lot more than I used to. And especially if I become a nurse, that's definitely going to have to use a lot of science, technology, computers, and just by joining this program, um, learning more about computers will actually help me in the um, future when I actually do become a nurse. My grandma always is on the computer. She used to ask me stuff about how to do it, and I didn't know how to do it. And now, like, when I go to her house and she asks me how to do a certain thing on Publisher or Word, I can just um, teach her how to do it that way. She will have to keep calling me to keep doing it over and over again. So it's amazing that this one child through this one program is going to influence his whole community and be able to really develop a culture of technology within the families that, that he lives in. They come away with a skill set that helps them reach into their larger community, into their families, to talk to their grandparents, to talk to their parents about what all this means, about what technology can bring in terms of opportunity for economic growth, in terms of opportunity for further education. Now, if you teach one child, one, one student, how to use a computer, it's contagious. He'll, he'll spread it around and he'll teach his neighborhood and then they'll teach their community and then they'll teach the state. I just think it's tremendously valuable because they become then ambassadors for a digital economy and the new opportunities that all of that can provide. <laughs>